Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to add ID attributes to bootstrap elements. That's funny. We should have, I th think it would have been useful to use the jQuery selectors, but anyways, we're doing what we're doing. Uh, recall that in addition to class attributes, you can give each of your elements an ID attribute. Remember the class is selected with the period and the ID is selected with the hashtag. Let's give a unique ID to each of your div elements uh, of class well. Okay, so each of these well elements, we're going to give a class, an ID selector to. Um, so yeah, once again, as always, I like to spread my code out like this so it's easy to read. I think that it's annoying when you've got this sort of overlapping forward slash at the end of the line, because when you look at it like this, you know exactly what you're looking at. Um, so we want to add a ID. Oh, look, they already give you an example. Remember that you can give an element an ID like this, ID center well. Uh, give the well on the left the ID of left well, and on the right, we want to say right well. Okay, cool. So one thing we could do just to make sure we're working with the right one, we could say this is left, and then we'll see this is on the left. So we can get rid of this for now and just say we want to give our button the um, ID is equal to um, left well. Great. And so I'm just going to copy this onto each one of these because it wants us to just duplicate it. And so now, yeah, if you were to inspect the, the source on this guy right here, you would see that uh, the ID is left well. And so, yeah, um, we're good to go with that. We can move down to here. On these ones, we want to add an ID of right well. W-E-L-L, -L, right well. And then I'm just going to paste these onto here as well. Ooh, something's gone wrong. Oh, I see. I uh, took the parentheses from here, and so I need to add that back in. Um, yeah, so I think that this will pass the test. Your left well should have the ID of left well, and your right well should have the ID of right well. So maybe this one is on the left for them. So what I'm going to do is highlight this guy and cut Command X, and I'm just going to enter it into here. And then I'm going to highlight this guy, Command X and enter it into here. And you'll notice that having me having separated the, um, the buttons, it makes it easier to do that because I can see what I'm doing. Whereas if everything was all stacked on top of each other, it would be hard to get right. Let's see if that works. Your, the right well should have the ID of right, R-I-G-H-T-L-E-W-E-L-L. -E -L -L. Your left well. Oh, okay, cool. So here's what I did wrong. I put the ID, the well um, ID here, where that's not what we want. We want to put this onto the well, not to each button. Stupid mistake. Um, and you know what? I bet that this is the left well now. And then, yeah, even though this probably doesn't matter, even though removing, well, let's leave one of the IDs on to see if it matters. Um, and then this one, I bet, will be right well. Cool. Okay, so that was the problem. Now you see, these IDs, they, they don't make it so it doesn't work. We can still use these as selectors, but we don't want to do make mistakes like that. It's important to keep your code clean, because the moment that you know you've got stuff in there that's not uh, useful, you're the best person to take that out. It would take somebody else a long time to figure that out. So you always want to complete your projects as um, efficiently as possible um so yeah run the test that passes uh I'm, i leave like mistakes in there like that because i want you to know that like everybody always makes mistakes when they're doing these things and so you shouldn't feel ashamed if you get stuck on this just reread the instructions and try to figure out why your tests aren't passing um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this one we'll see you in the next lesson